An Afternoon at the Pool by Mrs. Wu. Mom, can I jump off the diving board? Sheila shouted excitedly, bouncing up and down in her blue polka dot tankini. Sweetheart, you have had two swimming lessons so far, Mom replied, shaking her head in disbelief. Maybe you should wait until you can actually swim before, drive, before diving off the, dri the diving board. I don't want you to get hurt. Sheila put on her hot pink Barbie goggles and tried to convince her mother. I can swim. I've been practicing in the bathtub. I could hold my breath for 15 seconds, Sheila shouted. Please, Mom, can I drive off the diving board? Mom tried to hold in a laugh and fixed her face in a stern expression. Absolutely not, Sheila. Maybe next year when you have more experience. Sheila's long braids swung left and right as she stomped away from her mother. Her brown skin was a little, was still a little white from the sunscreen that didn't quite get rubbed in. As she sat down, slipping down into the edge of the pool, Sheila glared at her mother, who was sitting on a lounge chair. Mom won't let me do anything, Sheila grumbled to herself. She treats me like a baby. After a few minutes of sitting on the edge of the shallow end, Sheila was boiling mad. It wasn't fair that her mother always got to make all the decisions. I'm eight years old now, Sheila mumbled angrily to herself. I'm practically a grown-up. I should be able to dive off the diving board. Five minutes later, Sheila had hatched a plan to get her mom away from the pool area so she could finally show everyone that she could dive gracefully off the diving board. She called over to her mom from the edge of the pool and in her sweetest voice said, Mom, I'm really thirsty. Do you think I can get a bottle of water from the snack bar? Mom reached down. Mom reached inside her beach bag for some cash and walked over to the edge of the pool where Sheila was sitting. Sure, honey. Um, you want to come with me? Do you want to get a snack or something? Or would you rather just stay in the kiddie pool until I get back? Sheila realized this was her big chance. She said while secretly eyeing the diving board, I'll stay here. I'm having fun splashing around. Okay, Sheila, I'll be right back. Mom watched her walk away. Oh, no, sorry. Sheila watched her walk away toward the snack bar. After a moment or two to make sure her mom didn't turn back, Sheila started wading as fast as she could to the stairs at the edge of the pool. She was determined to get out of the kiddie pool and onto the diving board near the big pool before her mother could stop her. Ha ha, my mom will be so shocked when she sees how well I can dive and swim, Sheila thought. She could hardly wait. Suddenly, as Sheila shuffled into the water toward the pool stairs, a giant beach ball fell out of the sky and hit her on the head. Surprised, Sheila lost her footing and fell face first into the pool. The water stung her eyes and nose. She started to panic and sink deeper into the water. Her arms flapped and legs kicked rapidly, trying to find the edge of the, uh, the edge or the floor of the pool. I'm drowning, Sheila tried to scream, but she was not sure anyone could hear her. Fear gripped her, and she was certain she was about to die. All of a sudden, strong arms grabbed her and pulled her upright. She was so grateful and relieved she thought she might faint. The lifeguard stood up in the water held back a laugh. Are you all right? Sheila looked around and noticed a few people in the pool were laughing and pointing at her. She almost drowned in two feet of water. Can you believe it? A boy said to his friend in the inner tube. A woman holding a baby on her lap near the edge of the pool remarked to a friend. All she was doing was, all she had to do was stand up for goodness sake. She continued with a chuckle. That girl needs some swimming lessons as soon as possible. When mom finally realized what had happened, she rushed back to the kiddie pool. Sheila, sweetheart, are you okay? Sheila looks up at her mother's worried face and said, Yes, mom, I think I need to. Yes, mom, but I think I need to sign up for more swimming lessons. Sheila's mom nodded and hugged her close. The end.